Hey, what's up guys? Jeff here and today we have a simple cinematic color grading video for you guys using DaVinci Resolve. Everyone's been hitting me up on uh, one of my other videos asking me how I color grade so finally gonna do a tutorial for you guys and I just want to thank you for everyone that subscribed to my channel. I think I'm at a hundred subscribers and some change right now and so just thank you guys once again and if you're new to the channel watching this video uh, be sure to hit the subscribe button and uh, to uh, comment and let me know what you guys think if you like videos like this and want me to do more tutorials and stuff like that just let me know but uh today we're gonna be using some log gh5 footage from luke luke newman films let's make this full screen yeah so as you can see it's pretty flat and we're gonna be turning it into this so yeah, before, after, get a dope cinematic look. So let's start. All right, so gonna make a new node uh, using Alt S. And uh, as I said before, this is DaVinci Resolve. This is a free color grading slash editing program from Blackmagic Design. And uh, you guys can download it from their website. But uh, for everyone using Premiere Pro, um, if you want me to make a tutorial using that also, I could do that. Just let me know down below. But um, it should be pretty simple. Like a lot of the things are pretty similar. So what you should be able to do in DaVinci Resolve, you should be able to do in Premiere Pro for the most part. So I'm gonna be putting a LUT on this second node right here. So all you do is right click and then you go to 3D LUT. Then you go to RE Log Seed to Rec 709. And this is gonna be our starting point right here. So I'm gonna create a new node, another node. Um, I usually don't do anything to this first node so I have like a starting point in case I make a mistake or I want to change something and I don't want any of my grading to be affected so in this third node I'm gonna add uh, some color correction so I'm gonna be doing that using the RGB parade right here um, for the most part everything looks straight um, Probably just gonna bring down the temperature down a little to about 80. Basically, your goal is to like um, get everything even over here so all the colors are like white balanced correctly. So everything appears to be pretty good. The whites look white. That's one way of telling um, if your white balance is on. So um, next I'm going to add another node and I'm just going to add some saturation using the RGB mixer channel right here. Oh no, not this one, right here, the RGB mixer channel. And I'm just going to bring up the red channel, green channel, and the blue channel. And um, I'm just going to key it down a little bit using uh, the key output gain. So I'm just going to bring it down to about 400 and uh, this works by like just uh, lowering the opacity of the node in a way so it just brings it down or you could like uh, bring it up so you could make it full strength or bring it down to zero but I'm just going to bring it down to, to about 400, 452 works. Then I'm going to add another node and in this one I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just gonna uh, go back to the primaries window and I'm gonna uh, bring down the gain. The gain is basically the highlights. So if you see in the scopes over here, as I lower it, um, the image gets darker. So about right there. Um, also, these are the lift gamma and gain. These would be shadow right here in the lift. Um, What is this one? Shadow. This would be the midtones right here, and this would be the highlight section over here. 
so brought down the exposure a little bit I'm just gonna leave the midtones and the shadows alone for right now I don't think they need any adjustment and um, for this new node I'm gonna add some contrast using the curves adjustment so I'm just gonna make a simple S curve like that to about right there and already you can see the image is starting to look really nice. Add another node. And you could have also added some contrast um, by using this slider right here, contrast slider. But I don't really use that. All right, so now um, we can work in our look. So to dial that in, we could use uh, the color wheel section using the primaries window right here and then the primary bars over here and the log section over here with the primary section um, you can see like um, if I drag down the shadows it's like a pretty dramatic change so I don't really use that section too much mostly I work in the log section over here and as you can see it's more of like a controlled change so I'm gonna bring the shadows to about right here. Up the midtones a little to about here. That looks good. And I'm just gonna nudge the offset. And the offset pretty much like gives the entire image a tint. So I'm just gonna tint it a little to the yellow side. To about there all right that looks really good another thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring down the saturation for the green channels as you can see the trees are like a little too green for my taste so I'm just gonna bring them down a little and you could do that using the hue versus saturation tab right here in the curve section and you just click on the green dot and then you drag that down until you get to a point where you like your levels. As you can see, if I bring it up, the saturation for the green goes up, bring it down, completely desaturates them. So I'm gonna bring it like around here. And, um, you could also click on a color and you could get that exact color and then you could add a adjustment there too. So just gonna bring down the jacket a little bit to like right there. Oh right there. And um we're pretty much done. Let me just add a little bit of sharpening in the sharpen slash blur section. Just gonna drag the radius down. As you can see, if you drop it down all the way over here, it's a lot of sharpening. Drag it up, it's a lot of blur. So I'm just gonna bring it down to about 48. And yeah, we're about done that's our image guys they make this full screen and as you can see if I drag it all the way over here this is our before our after for after and that's like a really super easy cinematic grade that you guys can do using DaVinci Resolve uh, so yeah, that's about it. Um, if you guys found this video helpful and would like more videos of this type of like color grading and editing and other stuff like that, just let me know down below. And um, also, I'm thinking about dropping a LUT pack. I don't know if you guys would be interested. Let me make this full screen again. These are like the LUTs I have so far, just to give you a quick preview.
so I have about eight right now so if that's something you guys would be interested in let me know and um, I'm probably gonna make this lot right here the color grade we just did available for download in the description so you guys use that if you want and uh, yeah that's about it if you found this video helpful let me know subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time